Right, so we've got over 50 toolboxes here that we've got to arrange in some sort of display for our Maker Central stand. Probably gonna take a few hours for us, but for you, well, that looks better. Time to get some foam cut. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Jonathan here at Shadow Foam, and today we are looking at our exhibition stand for Maker Central, which is a show at the NEC, Birmingham NEC, which is coming up for us in two weeks. So the first thing we've done this morning is dusted out this big old display station here, and it's probably like 50 of 60 pieces that we've had to kind of dig out of storage. And fortunately, nothing was missing. So we've managed to put all that together. But then the main thing is organizing all of these power tool cases. We've got over 50 different brands and types, variations here, uh, because basically every time a brand launches a new case, like these Milwaukee Packout drawers that only came out recently, we have to buy one so we can map out the shape of the drawer for the inserts. So we've got one of every type here and we want to put them into a nice looking display. So at the, at the Maker Central show, anyone who walks up to the booth can see all the different inserts that we sell and we best get started. Right, so that is the display finished, and I'm really happy with how that's come out. We, we don't have any toolboxes here duplicated. We've got starting at this end, we've got Dewalt. We've then got the Stanley Pro Stack system represented with one of their organizers. Then we've got a range of the Milwaukee stuff, their normal pack outs, and then these are the organizers. And this is one of their kind of, the boxes that isn't a pack out from Milwaukee called a fuel box. Uh, we've also got some of the others, Bosch, Metabo, Hikoki, Sealy. This is the b and Magnuson set. We've got Vaunt, which is from ITS. Then there's the Festool range. We've pretty much got every box Festool do there. And then Makita as well. All we've got to do now is we're gonna upgrade these fluorescent bulbs in the top to LED. And we've got to get some of this. This is the plastic kind of um, piece that sits in here and then the light shines through it. So we're obviously gonna get some uh, Shadow Foam logos made for there, but we need some new plastic. This is a bit tatty. So we need some acrylic. I don't know if B&Q have got that, they might do. And then we need some LEDs to upgrade those. So let's head there. Whilst we've been at b &Q, Dylan, our apprentice, has been here cleaning all the boxes down. Some of them had been in storage for a long time, they were really dusty, but it really pops now, this display, it's looking really good. And um, we've got Dylan down here just getting some of the sticky marks off some of the boxes. So the next thing to do now is we're gonna remove the old fluorescent tube lights. Beautiful. Upgrade them to the LEDs, and then we will cut this plastic sheet and acrylic down to size, and we'll put those in place and then we can get the designer to um, put some shadow foam branding up there. And yeah, they should look pretty smart after that. So let's get these lights fitted. Right, so we've connected them all up now. Dylan, can you turn them on, mate? Yeah, that looks well smart, that nice and bright and we don't have to worry about smashing the fluorescent tubes or them breaking. I mean, those old fashioned lights have starters that go in them, they have fluorescent tubes that bust, and the glass as well. So that's much better, much brighter. So that's another job boxed off the list. On to the next one. Right, so it's Monday morning, and uh, our monitors have arrived for the show next week. We did the booth last week, and all being well, these two monitors will be going left and right of that big stand that we put together. We, sh we do have exhibition like TV display stands that we used at our last show, but the TVs were not ideal. So we're hoping that these monitors are more suitable, but we'll, we're gonna find out now. Renowned, hands-free brand. These were uh, the, the best monitors I could get in a short lead time. How are we connecting to these? we got yeah they have got HDMI and VGA for a wall bracket which is all we needed really so two of those are perfect all we have to do now is see if we can mount them on the stands so let's go and find those TV stands right so that's the two stands 
And the problem we had with these stands, the top section was fab, but these bases were a bit ropey to say the least. So let's have a look if we can do anything with them. So the main problem was just the wheels. They're really loose. You can see this one here. It didn't take very much for them to come really loose. So I think what we'll do is drill a hole straight through, put a wheel that goes all the way through and put a knot on the top. You can see here, these wheels came with them and they just have a standard knot, not a nylock knot. So the other option is we could just put a nylock knot there. Hmm. I think we could save some money. We won't have to buy new wheels then. We might just go for a, an M8 nylock knot and that would do. So I'm gonna to pop to the shop now, get some M8 nylock knots. I will get Dylan to give this a clean up. And then yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try them out in the monitors on the stands. Right, so we've just got back from Warnhill. We picked up some M8 nylock nuts, which are gonna make uh, these stands a bit better, more reliable. Uh, we're gonna change the nuts over to these nylocks and that should solve one of the problems, which is this, which is not ideal. Once we've done that, we can flip it over and we can put the stand on it and then we can try one of the new TVs on here. And hopefully we can give it a test and we can see what it looks like. Once we know it's all good, we'll put it all away and it's ready for the show. So yeah, let's change it over. Right, so that's the base done. The <laughs> buttery biscuit base. I like the base, 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 base. I like the buttery biscuit base. Now we've just got a bolt on this upright. Right, so we've sorted out the TV stands, or we know what we're doing for TV stands, and I'm hoping this is a standard TV mount, but sadly, we need a standard TV mount, which is a bit wider. It'll take a wider bracket. If we try to use this one, it's gonna be a little bit wobbly. I wouldn't feel confident with that on the TV stand. So sadly, this one is gonna to have to go back, but there is a local company, Spatial, in Northwich, which I hope will have two monitors or two TVs that'll be suitable, and we'll probably pop down there tomorrow and get something from them. So that is not a big, that's not a problem we can't solve. Right, so today is Tuesday morning. Maker Central is coming up Saturday, Sunday, and we're heading down to Birmingham on Friday midday. So we've only got a couple of days left. And right now we're heading to a company in Northwich called Spatial Sound and Vision, because they've got two 43 inch TVs for us. And Spatial have really done us a good price on these. The other thing we need to get is a plant because we're gonna be hopefully having like a little studio set at Maker Central. It's gonna be like a between the ferns interview station. And we've only got one fern right now, so we need another fern. And then we also need to get some new potatoes. That's a bit of an odd one, but that'll all become clear. We've got an idea. We've had a few boxes delivered and a few of the items have arrived already. And the last thing we need is new potatoes. So any guesses in the comments what we're doing? Drop them below. We'd love to hear what you think. And next year, we're gonna to go to Maker Central again and we're gonna need an idea for that. So we'd love to hear any ideas you've got for what we could make as a novelty gift. But yeah, let's head to Spatial and pick up the TVs. Thanks very much. Right, so that's another job boxed off the list. On to the next one. Right, so it's Wednesday morning and we're still getting prepared for the show. We've got some of our stuff here which is gonna be getting packed into the van and coming down to Birmingham with us. This is some kind of like A4 document holders and they will be holding our new brochures which haven't arrived yet, we're waiting on those. Um, we've got our exhibition kind of displays. These are like roller displays that go up about two and a half meters. We designed those this week, ordered them yesterday, and they've arrived today. We've had a look at them and they are perfect. So that's another thing knocked off the list. We've got some artificial plants here. They're coming with us. They're gonna be in our studio area where we're gonna be doing some interviews and stuff. One of the main things we're waiting for is the artwork to go in this top light box. So we've upgraded the LEDs in there and that's all looking smart. But as soon as those, the signage arrives, we can test fit it and then we can dismantle it all and get it in the van. So yeah, let's crack on. 
Right then, so we've got a few more parcels arrived and these should be part of our maker gift. So I did allude to it yesterday when we were picking up five bags of miniature potatoes and they may have been a clue for what we're preparing. This box here has been, we've had this for about a week um, and this is pretty much, well this will give it away, this is everything that we're going to be uh, putting in the box pretty much. And they are spud guns. So a bit of a, a classic throwback. Let us know in the comments if you ever had a spud gun. But we've got a hundred of these in two different colours, red and blue. And we are going to be putting them together with some miniature, miniature potatoes in what is a influencer protection kit. So these should be the labels. So we designed these yesterday and got them printed and they've arrived today. So, and then in here should be the little black boxes that we're going to be putting a piece of foam with the spud gun in. So these are from the Tiny Box Company. If you don't know Tiny Box Company, they were on Dragon's Den at one point a long time ago. They're still in operation, selling tiny boxes. And what we have here is a box, a big box full of tiny boxes. <laughs> so that's exactly what I ordered. And yeah, as planned, that little spud gun fits in there just nicely. We can put a couple of little miniature potatoes and then we've got one of our stickers to go on the top. And that is essentially our maker gift. So I mentioned in the van yesterday that we put together a maker gift for the show, the Maker Central show in 2019. Uh, and this is one of them. We don't have very many of these left. We put together, I think about 60 or 70 of these. Uh, and it was a little box. Uh, this was from Tiny Box Company as well. Uh, and then we had a sticker made for the front and you can see that, kind of what we went for. Looks a bit of a, bit of a surprise box uh, and then in here is a set of four novelty poops and they kind of all went down quite well we had a few kind of uh, puns related to the and it was something that we've made we, we hand cut all of this because essentially with foam you, you can put anything in foam uh, and we wanted to put together a little bit of a gift for, for some of our fellow makers and we wanted to make something we didn't want to just order in a load of pens or a load of kind of promotional goods with our name on it. So we ordered all of this, cut it all into foam, and we're gonna do the same thing with a spud gun kit. So we're gonna be cutting in a spud gun and some potatoes into a little kit in foam, and then we're making the gift for our fellow makers at Maker Central. So hopefully they all like it. So that is the kit. I mean, this is a bit of a classic British toy, really, a spud gun. And essentially all you do with it is you, you take the little the little gun and you just stick the end of it into a potato, twist it, and then essentially that little chunk of potato it fires out. So that's one down, 99 to go. Right, so it's Thursday morning. We've had a load of deliveries come in, loads of our printed literature that we've only just managed to design. We've only got the designs finished. Uh, there's down to the wire and then there's this. This has been pretty, we've cut it pretty fine. Uh, the brochures have come in from Instant Prints um, and we've got the A5 leaflets as well and all the design work has been a big credit to my team to be able to get the design done and then to get these ordered and here in time. We've also picked up the van this morning from Cheshire Self Drive so that means we've got my van which has got two rows of seats and then this other van has got a fair bit more space in the back so with the two vans we should have enough room to get everything down to Birmingham. We've also got our chairs for the booth and we've got our barriers as well which are going to be going on our like interview studio area. Uh, and then the big one is the big flags. These are three and a half meter flags that have arrived this morning. So uh, I'm quite excited to see if these have come out all right. So I think we'll set one of these up. <laughs> Bloody hell. I'm absolutely flipping drenched now I am. Oh, I'm trying to rush. We've got so much to do in so little time. Sacrifices were made. I'm happy with that. So that's another thing ticked off the list. On to the next thing. Right, so we're, uh, we're into our final preparations now. We're just doing all of the pricing tickets, which are gonna go on all of the inserts on the stand. Uh, we've got Dylan, who's cutting and laminating all of these. Uh, I'm going to head off now and we've got a big Dewalt stack that we've got to cut the foam for. We've also finished off cutting all of the sample pieces of foam which we're going to be given with our practice kits at the show. 
So yeah, once these are all laminated, we can go and stick them on the boxes as well. But I'm gonna head over and do the Dewalt box. Right, so it's Friday morning and we're just getting packed up for the show. This van's just been valeted, so that's nice and clean. That's going to be like the mini bus back into to the show. Uh, we've also fully packed up the van that we've got on hire and we've made good use of this space. Most of our gear is in there. Uh, we've also just had one of our last deliveries come in from DPD. So this is our printed uh, interview cards. They've arrived, so we've pretty much got everything we need now. Uh, all we've got to do is get it all packed into this van and then we can hit the road. Right, so that's both vans packed, and it's just gone lunchtime, and we're going to head off to Birmingham now. Should be about an hour and a half to get there. We've just set out, and now we're off to Prism Design and Print in Northwich. They have saved our bacon this morning. We'd ordered posters to go in the light boxes that we upgraded to LED light boxes earlier in the week. Uh, we'd ordered posters from Solo Press, and they should have been the next day delivery, but they were cancelled and cancelled and cancelled and we were expecting them this morning but they didn't turn up so it serves me right for ordering online it goes to show the value of local businesses big thanks to chris at prism now it's just straight on to birmingham keep the change you filthy animal Right, so we've arrived at NEC, a bit later than we'd hoped, it's four o'clock, we've managed to drive inside the hall uh, and it's a case of now just unpacking everything and getting it onto the booth as quick as possible and then we'll be setting all the booth up. Shouldn't take too long, we've got the dream team, we've got five of us come to Maker Central, we've got Matt on the camera, we've got Donna, Mike and Dylan, so that's probably best on a time lapse. Right, so we're here at Maker Central. All of the preparations paid off. The booth is looking amazing. The TV stands are a lot better now. They're rolling better on the, the wheels that we repaired. The, the new screens are up and they're working great. All of the LED lights are shining nice and bright on the uh, power tool case display that we've put together. We've got a really nice balance now of power tool cases. The whole thing looks really full. We've got the leaflets out, the brochures out. You can see over here, we've got the flags. Four of these came in this week and they're all up on the corners, making it really obvious where we are. We've got all of the foam that we cut. We've kind of cut all of the inserts for these. And that's so when people come over to the booth, they can not just see the fit of the inserts in the boxes, but they can kind of also see some of the layouts you can create and some of the, the different color options. Round here is our kind of bonus stand. So we actually have two stands here at Maker Central. And this one is our interview setup. And we're going to be talking to makers, asking them a few questions about what inspires them, what tips they've got for other YouTubers that are trying to, you know, just starting out. Uh, and I think it's come together really nicely. We've also got our spud gun kits. I've cut about 40 of these so far, all hand cut, little miniature potatoes and, and spud guns in there. So we've got the gifts to give to the makers too that we interview. Um, and yeah, I think the only thing we've got left to do is I have to cut a Maker Central logo in here and a Shadow Foam logo. Now I'm gonna struggle because I don't have a printer, but hopefully I can come up with something. Um, and we're gonna be taking this sheet of foam back to the hotel and hopefully I can get something cut up. We've marked the top and the bottom of the frame so we know where to cut the logo. We just need to get it sorted. So yeah, that's coming with me. Right, so we're back. It's Saturday morning. I managed to get the Maker Central logo and the Shadow Foam logo printed off in the hotel. I think it was just gone midnight by the time the hotel printed it off for me. So it was a late night last night. But we've come in this morning, we've been here early, and we've cut these into the foam. They look really effective. I'm really happy with how they've come out. So now the interview area is ready for a busy day of interviewing and talking to makers. We can't wait to see who we're going to meet and who we're going to get to talk to. And the main booth is ready as well. So if you've not already, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. And if you want to see the next part to this video, which is going to be the Maker Central show in itself, and all of the cool makers we're going to meet and talk to, then make sure you click the bell icon below, and then that'll give you a little notification when the video is ready. So that being said, we'll see you next time.